In this video, I would like to discuss with you and highlight what is the strategy if you are asked to find the power in a three-phase circuit, how we approach the, the, the problem. So we will have here two different scenarios. The first scenario, when we are giving the load as a black box, all we need know about them are is their KVA, P, Q, and or S and power factor. So basically, when we look to the power to the power triangle, there are four quantities. We have S, we have P, we have Q, and the power factor angle. In these type of questions, you will be given two. You will be given any of these two quantities. Okay, and using the power triangle, you can find any other quantity of the missing two quantities. Okay, so when we have such a question, and usually what you will be asked to find the total line current, total power factor, uh, if the line has impedances, what is the power loss in, in, in the line, and so on and so forth. Okay, so regardless what, what is the requirement in the question, let's see how we approach the problem. So we will have different load. This I, let's, in this example, let me have load number one, load number two, and so on and so forth. So what you need to find here, you need to find for each load, P1, Q1. So if they are given to you in the question, that's okay. If they are not given, you need to find them. P2, Q2, P3, Q3, P4, Q4, and so on and, and so forth. Here I'd like to stress on a, an important point. If the power factor is lagging, then the Qs will be positive. If the power factor is leading, then the Q will be negative. Okay, now once you find P and Q for each load, you will find P total, which is P1 plus P2 plus P3 and so on, and Q total, which is Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 and so on. Okay, remember P and Q are scalars, so we just add the the, the quantities, it's only magnitude. Once I know P total and Q total, I can find S total as my complex power, which is PT plus JQT. And now once I reach to this level, I can find anything in the question. For example, if you are asked, what is the power factor of this combined loads? Okay, so we know that tan theta total is equal to Q total over P total. And from this, you can find the theta total, which is tan inverse of Q total over P total. And then take the cosine of theta total, you will get the power factor. If you are asked what is the total line current, okay, you can find S total as an apparent power magnitude, which is P T square plus Q T square. Once I know S total, so my S total is equal to root three V line, which is usually given in the question times I line. So from this, I can find my I line, which is equal to S total divided by root 3 V V line. If you are given here in the line some resistance R line, and you want to find what is the line losses, P loss is equal to 3 because you have three lines, I line, which is the total current square times R of the line. So the key point in this type of questions is to find S total, which is the summation of all the P's and all the, all the Q's. Now, if we know the connection, we have two scenarios. And in this example, it shows the two examples. I could have the connection and I know S, P, Q, and or power factor. We used exactly the same approach in the previous question. So find S total, 
you find p total q total and you proceed or if you are given the impedance of the load and the load uh, could be a y or a delta it doesn't really matter so here you are given the voltage and the impedance then the key point you find i phase and i line if needed okay now i phase will be sufficient actually Okay, so you will find that the power of that load will equal to 3 IP squared times R of the, of the load. In this example, it's 10 ohm. Why 3? Because it is 3 phase. And Q of the load will equal to 3 I phase squared times x of the load this will give you your q so now i know p and q of that load then i will go back to the previous approach and i will add all the p's and all the all the q's there is a different way to find the p load and the q load if you find the line quantities then your p load you'll get exactly the same result root 3 v line i line cosine theta v minus theta i and Q load will equal to root 3 V line I line sine theta V minus theta I. But you have to know that this theta is for the phase. This theta is for the phase. So basically, theta V minus theta I is equal your theta Z, the angle of the impedance. Okay? So that will avoid any confusion that you might have when adding plus 30 minus 30 between the line and the phase quantities because you know z i can find the angle of z once i know the angle of z this is your power factor angle so you can see here regardless regardless of the the information we are given in the question we can go and you have one approach which is to find p total q total find its total and from that you can find anything about these combined loads now i in the description i will put some links to uh, different problems that you can exercise and you try to practice this approach on there